Good morning. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I wanted to go ahead and talk to you a little bit more about the benefit of a credit card and also talk to you about a secured credit card versus an unsecured credit card. I just want to mention something. I want to revert back to my video from yesterday. Please understand the way that I was trying to come across was to help the consumer to help themselves between paydays when they're low on money and then upon their paycheck showing up, you just pay off the balance and it be a done deal. I meant it as a short term loan. I did not mean it to go out and put lots and lots of money on a card and then put yourself in debt. That is not what I meant. Um, it does work. It does help a person out when they're in need of groceries or to help pay rent or they need to pay any utility bills. It has to get paid to prevent anything from being shut off. The credit card in between does work. I've done it many, many times over in the last 25 years since I've established my credit. I just want to point out that the card itself has no emotion. It's just a piece of plastic. The card holder themselves is the one that puts themselves in certain situations. Um, so you definitely have to be careful between using a credit card and using cash money. Although cash money to me is always going to be number one priority. If you have the cash money, use the cash money. You go, you make your payment, purchase whatever. It's a done deal. There's no money that you're indebted to having to pay back. So I'm always for cash. Cash is king. It always will be. So I just wanted to make clear that I'm not trying to promote a credit card or to put the consumer in debt. It's just a helping hand and it does work. Now, talking about a secured card versus a unsecured credit card. A secured credit card is for somebody who is either trying to establish credit, never had credit, or trying to rebuild and start uh, new credit altogether from you know a bad credit score or something that may have resulted in the past. Um, on a secured credit card, you yourself, the consumer, control the credit line. You determine how much of a credit line you want to have. It's also more disciplined to you. And as you go along, if you feel comfortable with a certain credit line, but you feel like raising it, you do have the ability to go back to your credit union or bank. I personally prefer a credit union, but I guess it's to each their own in that aspect. But the credit union to me will always be uh, top of my list. You just go to the teller. You add whatever additional monies you want to put on the card, and then that'll raise your credit line. You yourself control it. On an unsecured credit card, uh, debt what it is is they control the credit limit they choose however how much they want to give you based on you know how much money you make and so on and credit history etc cetera, etc cetera. uh it also mean now keep in mind i want to also mention this on both cards there is no lien um but probably more so on the unsecured credit card because i have a point that i'm trying to make here I myself, I've done it more than one time. I have gone out and purchased cars. That's right, cars on a credit card. Of course, I don't leave it at the one credit card. I do balance transfers and move it to another card in order to get the balance down. There is a benefit there. One, your minimum payment a lot of the time is usually lower than what you would have at a financial institution if you make a purchase or buy a car because your payment is the same from payment one to 240 or however how long your, your term is. But on a credit card, it's different. It drops a few dollars each month, which actually benefits the consumer if you stop and think about it. Not only that, you have the title, you own it outright, you don't have to deal with finance companies, you don't have to worry about repossession and so on. Yes. The credit card company can come after you if you don't pay it. Again, I'm not making that point, and that's not what I'm trying to encourage here. But they would have to go and get a lawyer in order to be able to sue you to get you know that money back. But you can make a large purchase like a car or a or anything, or you know, depending on how much credit line you have and how much you want to work with, it is of the equivalent of paying cash. If you can get a zero percent, it is paying cash. But some of them do have the transfer fees that you have to pay. And if you talk to your credit card company, sometimes they can negotiate the transfer fee to a lower amount that's more agreeable to you. But 
coming back to the credit union, if you do it through them and you have a zero or even a 1.9, which is nothing uh, as far as interest goes, you have none of those transfer fees that you have to pay. You transfer the balance that's on that card. You just start paying from whatever amount that you put on there. And that's the end of that. Whereas on a bank credit card, you have the transfer fee. You also have to watch this. There used to be life of the loan, which means you could put it on the card. And if it took you four years to pay it, three years or so on, you had that. But because of a credit card situation that happened back in the middle, late 2000s, they stopped that. So the most you can probably get on a card now in a balance transfer is maybe 15 to 18 months. You have to look for it, but usually they run about a year. But you have to keep an eye on it. Keep looking for other deals that may show up on your other credit cards. If you see it before then, you can always take the money and transfer it and move it to that card. All you're basically doing in that aspect is you're just refinancing your own money, if that makes any sense. But I just wanted to point out the difference between a secured and an unsecured credit card. And that's pretty much the difference right there. Um, again, I want to thank all of you for tuning in with me this morning. And I will see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.